Andreas Krieg is a lecturer in security and military affairs at King's College in London. He joins us for more on the story. Hi, Andreas. Uh, three UN organized efforts to negotiate a peace deal have failed. What chance is there really of ending this crisis? In the meantime, at the moment, actually, there is no real chance of, of uh, a way out of this crisis, not because the UN it has no teeth, which it doesn't. It doesn't. It's not really a player in what's going on in Yemen at the moment, but also because Yemen has been dragged into a proxy war where all the different uh, actors in the region, including the United States, including indirectly also European countries who are supplying the Saudis, um, are getting involved and they have tried to play a variety of different actors. You know, this Yemen conflict is not a bipolar conflict. It's not between a North uh, versus South or uh, Shias versus Sunnis or even uh, different tribal factions. There are all these different groups fighting each other. There are so many different blurry lines of allegiances that constantly change depending on the climate and depending also on outside input. So it's very difficult to, to ascertain which direction this is going to take. Also because of the fact that Ali Abdullah Saleh, the former president of Yemen, who kind of kept this uh, crisis um, somewhat manageable mm -hmm. for the last 30, 40 years, has been killed a couple of weeks ago. As some people suggest, despite these complex alliances, that if you push the Houthis out of Sana'a, that could end the war. Would that be a solution? No. I mean, the Houthis are one party to the conflict. And, you know, it's too simplistic to just say they are supporting the Shia minority. They're not even Shia. They are a subgroup of the Shia sect uh, in northern Yemen. They are one actor which are supported by uh, a variety of other actors. Um, at the moment, the Saudis see the Houthis as the most important player they want to um, push out of Sana'a, but they will they will easily retreat into the northern part of Yemen and keep on fighting there as they have done for the past 17 years. Okay. So control of Sana'a is not really the most vital problem here. Yeah. Andrea, some people say that the only real solution is for Yemen to be reclaimed by Yemenis. Uh, just briefly, do you agree and what would that look like? Um, well, it's... It's true. I mean, the fact that this is a proxy war, that both Saudi Arabia and the Iranians to a lesser degree have been meddling in internal Yemeni affairs has exacerbated the crisis on the ground. Also, to that extent um, that, you know, the various um, groups have been trying to fight for their patrons rather for their own interests. And it has polarized the environment. So we need to have a withdrawal of all these external parties and find an actual neutral uh, mediator. We haven't found a neutral mediator yet who can actually bring all the various Yemeni sections to a table and start a dialogue that were kind of collapsed in 2012 and 2013. A national dialogue with, which is inclusive and brings all the different factions to the floor and to the uh, negotiation table, regardless of where they come from. All right, Andreas Krieg, a lecturer in security and military affairs at King's College in London. Thank you so much for that insight.